Good evening, uh, Coach Kane. On another mission to train one of my clients. Brilliant young man has been working on this game for over two years now. And uh, played on a I-9 team is what they call it here in Houston, Texas. One of his biggest dilemmas uh, playing on the team is not being able to get a shot off in the game. Competition was a little bit stronger than he was ready to handle at eight years old, uh, playing with a lot of 10, 10 year old kids. I began to put him on the training regimen that I've designed in my new app uh, for King of Bounce. You can download it and try the free trial uh, if you're interested. Just in a matter of weeks, uh, it went from not being able to get a shot off in the game to three to four months in. He was up to around 10, 12 points and get a 14 point game. And that led to him becoming the highest scorer on his um, basketball team. They won the championship during that first season that he had in the championship game. The team scored 52 points total. I think his opposing team was a, somewhere around 32 or something like that. And my kid, my guy that I'm going to train now, scored 24 points in that game. So I'm headed out to train him today. I'm gonna give you some footage of that uh, training session. And this is a lot of what I do. Just wanted to give a little introduction to this training session. Uh, check it out and look more into what we have to offer here at King of Bounce. Uh, once again, I'm Coach Kane, and we'll see you soon. Want to swing cross? Down low. We're going as wide as we can go. Wide as we can on both sides. Swinging as fast and as hard as we can, keeping control of it. Let's get wider and faster. Count all your dribbles, get to 50. Switch hands. This time we're starting from right there. You see your spot, right? Go. Stop and pull up. Good job, one. No floaters, no floaters. Go. There's two. Go. There's three. You got one more. When you drive in hard, I want you to plant those feet and go up into your shot. Always when you catch the ball, make sure you don't take off with your dribble until you have it. Get control, because you know what that caused you to do just now when you tried to take off before you had control of it? It made you fumble dribbling it, and then when you tried to go into your shot, you didn't have control. So catch it, then go. There you go. See how simple that is? 